Hey, welcome to Paddle and Hike. Today it's a quick review video. I'm gonna talk about the two most popular and ultralight backpacking pillow on the market. So these are the two pillows, the Sea to Summit Eros Premium and the Nemo Philo Elite pillow. So I'm gonna present each pillows one at a time and I'm gonna tell you the stats, also the pros and the cons, and at the end I'm gonna like resume everything together. All right, so let's start with the Sea to Summit Eros Premium regular size pillow. So super popular on the trail, very popular on true hikes too. It is super light, it is a great pillow super comfy you get the curve for your neck so good pillow very comfortable i love mine it's one probably my favorite pillow it's thick so super great for side sleeper so the pillow only weighs 2.8 ounce so 79 grams so super ultra light when it's packed it's 2.8 inch by 3.3 inch when it's open, it's 13.4 inches by 9.4 inches by 4.3 inches. There's a pillow lock system that attach to see the summit sleeping pads, but you need the grips like the stickers to stick to it. It is a very soft fabric, so very comfortable. You get a super valve on this pillow. So the valve is super easy to use. You blow into them and the air doesn't go out. You have to press the little thing inside to remove some air if you want to make it softer. If you want to deflate it all, you just have to pull the second tab here and that's it. It's done. Super, super easy to deflate and inflate. You just push the cap back in and you blow here. That's it. Just close the other one. And you're good to go. Now let's talk about a very popular one, the Nemo Philo Elite. Not the Nemo Philo, not the regular one with the thick pad on it. This one is the ultralight version. There's also bigger ones, the luxury ones. This is the regular one. So still pretty big though. It's bigger than the Airs. So this pillow also come at 2.8 ounce, but 80 gram, just a gram more, but pff, that's nothing. It packs four inch by three inch. When it's open, it's 15 inch by 11 inch by three inch. So larger, but less thick. The stuff sack is attached to the pillow. So when you're done, you just shove it back in and that's it. It is covered with a super soft jersey fabric. It's really, really soft. There's nothing to attach to a pad, but since there's a loop here and here, you can put an elastic in between and wrap it around your sleeping pad. I've seen a lot of people do that. So that would work for this pillow. We'll add a bit of weight, but barely. The big issue with this pillow is the valve. I don't know why they still do these valve. You have to blow and twist it to lock it. You lose hair, you have to struggle a bit with. I'm not a big fan of this valve, honestly. It's still a bit better than the Terminus one, but I'm not a big fan. So like I explained, the valve is a twist valve. You have to twist and pull. So every time you want to use it, you have to pull like this and blow. And when you blow, you have to push again and twist. So it's a bit tricky. So when you want to remove some air, when you want to blow it back, eh. but it is a super comfy pillow. This pillow is larger, but thinner. So best for back sleeper, also stomach sleeper. If you're a side sleeper, I, I have a bit of difficulty sleeping on this a full night. So to recap everything here, the Aeros Premium is super light, thicker and best for side sleepers. It has the best valve too. For the Philo Elite, it's super light too, large but thin. So best for back or stomach sleepers and it comes with an annoying valve. So if you're interested by these pillows, I will put a link in the description below. It is an affiliate link, so it gives me a small cut, not much, but a small cut to help support my channel. It doesn't affect the price for you at all. So I hope you enjoyed that video. See you soon.